Hi guys, John from Toffee Apple Studios here. Now, this is a video that I don't particularly like doing, but I feel it's important because it may save another guinea pig from what I've had to go through. In a moment, I'm going to show you tea cake, but I want to warn you, if you're squeamish and you don't like sites that could be bloody, then this may not be the video for you. But if your guinea pig is going through something similar, I think it's important. Uh, so we're going to take you through our journey and what we've been through. And I'm going to show you tea cake uh, today because I've just got back from the vets and I've got some medication for her. I want to explain everything that's happened so far with her. So without further ado, um, we'll take you to tea cake. But again, once again, warning, she's a little bit bloody. So this is your advance warning. So this is tea cake. As you can see, she's had a shave because uh, the, the vet wanted to have a look at her face and, and the other areas that are very itchy and very, very sore and bloody. Because um, she has been scratching a hell of a lot. She's really, really itchy. So initially we thought that she got um, mites or she got or something along those lines. So we started treating her with I ivermectin, um, but she didn't stop. So we decided to take her to the vets and that's when she first started getting bloody now there was like another patch here but that's healed up nicely uh so they assumed the same as us at first uh, this vest that we took them to that it was uh, mites but they also said it could be a fungus similar to ringworm so they gave us some antifungal cream to put on as well uh we put that on and we was treating her for about a week which they told us that she should clear up by then um she didn't clear up, this patch did, but more patches developed and then the ones on her face started developing. So we took her back to the same vet again and they just told us it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Now, I was really concerned with that advice, but we carried on treating her until the medication began to run out. Now, instead of going back to that same vet, because I'm not sure if they was a guinea pig specialist, even though they claim to be, I took her to one that I know is a guinea pig specialist. It was a lot further away, rather than it being a simple 15 minutes drive. This one is an hour's drive in the car. So I ended up taking it all the way there because we have used them before when we've had operations like when we had Earl and, and Mr. Whippy Newton, and they are fantastic. We do have guinea pig specialists. We took them there, and as soon as he saw her, the first thing he asked is if they've been fighting. I told him no and explained the whole situation and what meds that we tried and everything like that and he said he wanted to take a closer look at it so at first he took her into the back well at first he was he was examining in front of me and he took the scabs off uh, a couple of the, the sores she really did not like that but so he could have he could get a better look at the scabs um and then he asked if he was if he was keeping her on sawdust or um wood shavings we said it's nothing like that we keep her on fleas uh, and he asked if anything in her diet had changed and things like that. Uh, the only thing that they've had differently uh, since this started is Medaway. We normally give them Timothy, but we've got a box of Medaway just to mix it up and keep things more interesting for her. Um, what he said to us is, after shaving and having a look at it, is it could be one of three things. It could be mites that are buried deep under her skin, but he doesn't think it's that. He has treated her for it. But he doesn't think it's that because he said it would have affected us other guinea pigs because I did take Earl with at her so she got a travelling companion and he examined Earl and there's nothing wrong with Earl at all. Um, so after after that he said the other thing is is that it could be a type of skin cancer that's making her really really itchy which that kind of broke me out when he said that but he says he doesn't think it's skin cancer because there's none of the other symptoms. He, what he thinks is the most likely thing is that it's an allergy to something like dust or possibly the hay. Uh, it usually happens with guinea pigs on shavings, he says, but because uh, it has on shavings, it doesn't mean that it can't happen. Um, I'm wondering now if it is the meadow hay, so we're going to stop giving them any of that we're going to get rid of all the middleway that we've got left over probably donate that to one of the guinea pig rescues near us and see if they can use it it's given her some steroids as well 
just to help her with the itching so she can rest and she's not going to be as itchy and I think this is the first time I've seen her get this comfortable since we've had a bark. Uh, she's had a first dose of the uh, steroids and she is doing well, she took the steroids really well and she got she got an amazing appetite after she had, like uh, she went straight for a big lump of pepper and she's ate loads of uh, fresh greens as well and then she's been eating hay, she got her out of the hay box when uh, before I filmed this. So right now we're in a situation where we're still not 100% sure but she seems to be a bit more comfortable. She's not itching as much and I'm hoping that gives it time for the, for the wounds to heal. Uh, but I will update you further when we know more and we will keep you informed of her progress and show you everything that's going on. So I've been John from Toffee Apple Studios and I will see you in the next video.